Hey guys, what's up? Uh, my name is Sean Rusalt and welcome to my Delphi programming series. <sighs> so in this video we're going to be learning about text files. And I've actually created the same video like maybe 10 times already now. Every time it's a mistake, like for instance the frames per second is too high or the video is lagging or someone shows up or... Uh, so yes. Let's try and make it work now. Let's just delete this quickly. Okay. Let's try making this video again. So I've already created a GUI. Four buttons, a memo, and this is a date time picker. You can find it here. There's a date time picker in the Win32 <coughs> palette. And also, and also I'm a bit sick today. So sorry about that. Let's first go to File, New, New Other. Okay, come here, come to. Ah! I'm going to be going a bit fast because I've already created this video like 10 times, so I'm really sick of this video. So add a text file of type .exe. Here's our text file. Save it in the same folder as the .exe. Here's the .exe. Let's name it dph.txe. And my back hurts a bit. Let's go get nearer to the screen. Okay, go to. If you're going to be adding some dummy information, you can also just add some random information. Here's the info. The loaded text file, you just basically say mr1.lines. <coughs> Sorry, I'm sick. Add dbh.txt. Oh, shiza. Oh, flippin' hell. What the flip is he doing? Okay. This starts by saying, oh, not add, and dot load from file. So it's basically, it loads this um, text file into the lines of the memo. It's basically what it does. It also adds save text file. So it's say memo one dot lines dot save from file. Let's say dph um, dot no, underscore edited dot gpc. Uh, and the safety file basically just creates this file and then puts the lines into it. So yes, save F9. So it loaded our file. Let's um, edit it a bit. Okay, here's our edited one, save text file. Let's go to text files. Let's say add. It lets us add this new um, text file to the folders also. So here's our dbh edited. Add it. And here it is. So as you guys can see, this is how to load and to save um, files using a memo. Let's learn the other way. Let's first do load text file. To do this, we'll need a variable of type text files. We use the txt file of type text file. And we also need the string. So string. So the assign file. I'll explain it now. Text file and let's say dph. Good. Um, let's let the edited one. Let's load a different file. Yes. Let's create a new text file. Um, text file. Let's save it. Um, just say uh, some go.txt. Let's say dot Pascal because we actually we'll use some Pascal code. So let's save it. Let's load this. Oh wait. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, gonna sneeze. No, I'm not gonna sneeze. Okay. Let's actually just use this Pascal code here. Okay. Basically, the sign file assigns this text file. A Pascal file is also basically a text file. It assigns this text file to this text file variable. Then we'll say reset. The reset procedure basically just Resets the text file, so it opens it and it places the cursor at the start of the text file. So basically, it opens this text file and it places the cursor here at the start. 
So if the files are open, we have to close it at the end. So close file, txt file. <coughs> Let's just clear the limit to start with here. Okay. In the middle, we'll say while not eof, which stands for text file. Do again. Basically, this is, a, this is a normal while loop. So while it's not the end of this file, we'll keep repeating this, this code. Let's say read ll, ach, ln, which stands for read line. Actually, but that also it's like midnight again. Anyway, txt file. Ah, uh, Okay, then we'll just basically. Oops, we'll read. Okay, so we'll, we'll read from this text file. The read line um, procedure basically um, reads a line and then stores it into the S data and then goes to the next line. You can also say number one dot lines dot add S data. Let's compile. So this works and you can edit it to create a new one and you can save it. They will of course be saved. And uh, now let's load one. So here we loaded the code we had. Okay. So now let's save text file. Okay, for this we'll also need again a text file variable and some other variables here. Here we can basically going to I'm gonna show you guys how to Basically, you're just going to create a text file and store some information about someone about me in this tutorial. We're going to be using this also for our Facebook clone, which we're going to be creating later. So let's start. His name is surname is um, let's say city and what else? Um, that's it for now. Type string, um, we'll need a um, date of birth, so just make it date birth equals t date time. Uh, we'll need an age of type integer, and we'll need a um, weight of type double, also a, ooh, let's Add also a height, the height. Anything else we're missing, perhaps? Um, description, add a description of me. And, uh, description. Let's start. Okay, we put a similar to this. I'm lazy to retype it, so I'm just going to be adding this here now. Instead of assign file to this, we'll just create a new file again. So we'll just say profile underscore sr dot txt. <coughs> Instead of reset, we're going to say rewrite. So basically, the rewrite procedure, procedure creates a whole new file. So, yep. Let's add some values to them first. Is name. My name is Sean. My surname is oh, oh, salt. And my description is I. Uh, I am a programmer, and I love. Coding. Okay. My is city is I live in Bloom Fontaine, and my date birth is equals to the date time speaker speaker one dot. What's this thing called? Date time speaker one is dot. 
where is my code completion? I think this dot date. Okay. My I age is um eighteen. My weight is I'm about sixty-eight. Oops, sixty-eight point that. Okay. My height is I am one point seven eight meter. No, I'm not. Um, eight seven. Sorry. Yes. Okay. You know information about this person, which is me. So now we'll say write L eight, which has the right line to this text file, and we'll write name plus um s name okay let's copy and paste this file a bit so surname ah something stuck in my toe mm. <sighs> when I'm playing with shit load the table okay is description is city date of birth let's add a colon also to them colon space okay age uh, weight and height let's add the variables surname description city uh, date of birth which we need to convert so it is date to str my age Convert it to a. Where's my code completion? Is it here or here? Oh, of course, it's a bracket there. Okay. Now it should work. Okay. Dot. Ah, now my code completion works also. To string the weight to string but also the height to string. I really love those helpers. I like writing this instead of like that. So yep. Okay, let's compile. So other buttons works of course you can change it as you wish. Say text file, you can load the text file then, which is this, and it choose my date of birth. I was. Oh, it's been so much work. Okay. I was born in 1998. And I was born in March the 19th. Okay. Save text file. Okay. Let's add the text file to the project. We'll say add. 32 debug proper is all and here yeah, it's actually created and working so yep um so to rewrite creates a new file if we need to add a pen to it a pen basically just places the cursor at the end of the file so let's show you guys how this one works Depends some of this. Okay, let's compile. So we are painting to the profile is R. So it's just paint to it a few times. Okay, let's reload it. Now you guys will see basically it's added this to the end of the text file because we have painted it. So yes. So paint places the things at the end of the text file, just keeps adding it. Rewrite, creates a new file and reset basically because at the start of the file it starts writing from the top 
So this is basically how to create a text file and save from them and basically just, just use text files. So thanks for watching. I really hope this video is working and complete. I don't want to redo it again. So yes, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe and share. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.